ikkada see here how many people are preparing well how many people are preparing well can you just tell me about the about your configurations and also subject wise preparation and interview wise preparation how many people are preparing well how many people are preparing well i am asking you only you can just tell me uh, say so, okay shall i start with bala bala uh, what is your preparation and uh, sir subject wise i prepared everything okay interviews by interview wise i am not prepared because of once completed the course after that i will enter into the interview okay, maybe no next issue. monday so see bala what what you need to do is daily practice uh practice on the asap methodologies and also active methodologies okay asap okay. methodology and active methodology is same no issue then here you have to know what is the project preparation blueprint realization final preparation go live how many people are there what are those uh, implementation partners what are those core implementation partners what are the client implementation partners okay so and i mean here as is document to be document uh, how you have prepared uh, all this very important when it comes to the realization phase uh, that is basic baseline configurations uh, will be there and uh, final configurations will be there right so have you involved in the baseline configurations have you involved in the uh, final configurations uh, all those things will be uh, going to ask by the interviewer only so if you miss one question in the any implementation project support project role or project so they will not allow you to uh, give the uh, offer letter okay so that is very important bala so why i am saying this is in this batch so i mean member number of the people are there so here they have wonderful communication skills so once you get the job so you have to survive in the job when you are surviving in the job that is very 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 important for your life when you are surviving okay it will be the fine when you are struggling it will be the fine so when you leave this organization it will not at all fine for your life that is very important so that is why i have asked you how you have prepared and how you are prepared okay then next when it comes to the uh, who is guest user can you just come out from the mute who is this guest user guest user you can just come out from the mute who is this guest user bala i think i don't know i will remove that who is this guest user sir i think yes ha guest user over there sir guest user uh, i think there okay no issue uh, uh no no worries no worries whether they will uh, okay no issue if the person is there no issue wala okay uh, what is a uh, uh, preparation uh, uh i think i have to just ask uh, this uh, sridhar sridhar what about the preparation ఇంటిగ్రేటెడ్ <laughs> Uh, so that is very important and then next one is uh, suresh uh, what is your preparation uh me and also same sir first we prepare practice for the practice for uh, configurations okay then after to do the start for the interview questions okay so when you are uh, uh, i mean uh, preparing for the interview okay you can just uh, come back and uh, study all these implementation projects and support projects and rollout projects okay they will going to ask you all those questions uh, uh, in your interview only 
okay when you when you start the interview or else when your interviewer starts the interview <clears throat> they will start with the uh, implementation project roller project and support project okay that is very important here uh, then next one is uh, who is there lakshmi garu are you there sir i am yeah. practicing <clears throat> oh, what about the preparation no sir present i think nenu inka em ala em job gurinchi aithe alochalenu manchi practice cheyal anukunta endukante already job undi kada intlo work tho married anduku konchem late avuthundi okay no issue so be prepared well and for the interviewer also you will get the job or not no worries so all of you don't worry you will get the job so but be, be prepared for each and everything and uh, do hard work then only you will get the job then next uh, uh, nagesh nagesh what is your preparation yes, yes. <coughs> yes sir right now i didn't uh, start any preparation sir right now i am preparing my notes as per the concept wise Uh, okay. because i couldn't attend some of the classes so that is the reason i didn't start uh theoretical wise i i want to focus on that once i yes. get the clear information and i will start practicing okay no issue so here uh configurations are not at all important but subject is very important when it comes to the interview okay so when it comes to the project interviews and also client interviews configurations are very important i mean fields are very important for the particular project and for the uh, roller project okay so uh uh i will just mute this wala no issue huh see here we are in the uh, realization phase right that is uh, i mean in the sap methodology we are in the realization phase so in this realization phase we are configuring the client business process into sap or mapping to be process in sap we can call it as see here when we enter into realization phase we will get credentials from the basis people okay user i uh, client number user id password server id etc in this phase we log in into development server to configuring the client business process into sap bala you can just go to the sap log on screen i will show you ha huh. see wait 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 see client is what here 800 okay so client is 800 basis consultants only give you uh, all these details what is your client i mean here user id they will give password they will give language key they will give this is a development server right so you are conferring all the uh, configurations in the development servers in the development server you can just have these these information client user and password so when you go uh, click on this uh, i mean uh, password on all the sap will give you the screen so in that screen our sap reference img will be there and uh, what are the configurations that are there in the go to the uh, spro go to the spro ha huh. here reference i go to the reference img also sap reference img see here bala uh, and all see here these are the configurations that we are doing financial accounting financial accounting new and investment management controlling if the consult i mean if we have the different uh, uh, cvo consultants they will do the controlling configurations we are fi people's right and we will do the financial accounting configurations financial accounting new configurations financial supply chain management configurations so these are the development servers we can call it as in your interview only they will going to ask these types of questions no worries so for your reference only why we are uh, giving user id and password only i am giving the information okay so in this baseline configurations okay in this realization phase we have two types of uh, uh, configurations what are those configurations baseline configurations and final configurations baseline configuration means what here it is a configuration for which we don't want to depend on any other module like ma module st module pp module quality management uh, modules and also hr modules like that so it is a configuration which is a specific to one module only and each and every uh, uh, consultant will not involve 
in other modules. OK, so MM consultant will do the configurations. SD consultant will do the configurations. FI consultant will do the configurations. CEO consultant will do the configurations. So the thing is where it is integrated. OK, so we will assign our GL accounts to the particular MM, right? We will assign the particular GL accounts to the SD, uh, I mean SD module, right? So then only GR and IR will be possible. Goods receipt or invoice receipt will be possible. Otherwise it will not be possible, right? So when you don't link this GL accounts to the particular MM and also SD, how it will be possible to post the entries, to post the invoices like that, okay? So that is why baseline configurations are very important. And final configurations. It is the configuration for which we need to depend on other modules like MM, SD, PP, FI, like that. See here, I have already told you about this uh, links. OK, so if you are posting with MM, if you are posting with SD, you need to give the GL accounts. You need to assign. OK, in the OB wise transaction codes only, we will assign. OK, so for the MM, for the SD and all the we will have transaction codes. So that is why we are thinking like this only. So in that realization phase only, we will have two types. OK, so that is very, very important. And uh, when we do all these baseline configurations and final configurations in SAP, or oh, whenever we are saving the configuration, we need to save in a particular request number. OK, request number means it helps to transport the configuration from one server to another server. Suppose you have done configurations for the open AP, that is accounts payables. What you need to do? So uh, we need to raise one request number for that one. OK, uh, I mean system will automatically give the request number. Then you will give this, uh, uh, I mean this request number to the base system. If you want to move this uh, uh, configurations, OK, for the particular document from development server to the quality server, consultants are very important here. Basis consultant will help you to um, migrate or else uh, move the transport number from development server to quality server. Here you will do the testings in the quality. OK. So that is why that is very important. What is our functional role in transport request? Very, very important. Transport request is nothing but the number, right? We can call it as an object, right? So which which transfers the data from one client uh, to another client. I mean development server to the another the, the quality server. OK, so we need to realize this entire request. Each request ca consists of parent and child. Parent request will be there. Child request will be there. Child request means what here? Child request will help to carry the data. What is the data? Open AP data. And parent request will help to transport the data. It will transport the data from development server to the quality server. Then quality server to the production server. So when the production server is ended, OK, so end user, I mean from the client, end user will going to post uh, the invoices from that date only. OK, so here uh, we have two types of requests. Transport requests has two types. What are those customizing requests and workbench requests? In interview, they will going to ask different types of questions like this. Have you involved in the customizing request? Have you involved in the uh, workbench request? So if you have involved in this customized request and also workbench request, you would uh, give the exact answer to the interviewer only. So what is the customizing request here? Whatever configurations functional consultants will do, OK, that will save in the customizing request. Then what, what, what is the workbench request? Whatever the developments technical consultants will do, that will store in workbench request. See here. Uh, I will I will give you the basic uh, example. Bala, just go to the SAP login screen. I will uh, give you the information on this one. Huh. OK. Uh, SC16N, go to the transaction code SC16N. SC16N. Huh. See here, table. We have to give the table, right? For the GL account, what is the table that is there? What are the tables? Do you know anything tables for the GL accounts? I mean general ledges. OK, no issue. Go to the table SKA1 or SKB1. SKA1, give SKA1. In the table only give SKA1. SK, 
A1. Yeah, click on the enter. Click on the enter. Yes, see here. What is your chart of accounts? Give your chart of accounts here. Here in the line item only. Give your chart of accounts. Here, here. Go down. Ah, chart of accounts. Give your chart of accounts. Mm. Then go to the execute button. Go to the execute button. Execute. Ah. List output is that. See here, Bala. So whatever you are creating, okay, in the account group you have created like this. Okay, short text is domestic reconciliation account. So these are the head text only. Okay, SKA1 means GL head text. SKB1 means line items. Okay, so whatever the information that you are created, okay, so that will be stored in this development server. And we have to move this, uh, uh, I mean, transport request a number to the particular quality server. Okay, you will do the testings, right? So when you do the testings, so all the data is very, very important here. Okay, so uh, whether it is a balance sheet account, it will show you like this. Okay, X, 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 and X mark. Whether it is a profit and loss accounts, it will not show you. It will show you the blank account. Okay, you can just come back. You can just come back. Click on the green option. Huh. Again, click on the green option. Huh. See here, we have technical names, right? So what I have told you, workbench request. Here, uh, you can just see right here, right, Bala? Technical name, right, right. Right, right. Come back, uh, come down. Come down. Uh -huh. These are the technical names, right? So they, these will be uh, done by the ABAP. The ABAP consultants will be there, right? So whatever the developments, technical consultants we will do, that will store in the workbench request. See here, uh, for the chart of accounts, you have given your field name, okay? Uh, I mean, technical name is what? KTOPL is the technical name. Balance sheet account technical name is what X B I L L K. So if we get any error regarding with this, uh, uh, I mean ABAP people. So we just need to contact with ABAP people. They will not know what is the B A O A. They will not know. Okay. So they will know only K T O P L means they will know. Chart of accounts is the K P K T O P L. So they will do the all these configurations also. Okay. So why? Because database will be there, right? So all these technical names and also field names. Uh, all these determined by the database only. OK, so that is very important. After transporting requests from development to quality server, then we do internal testings in uh, quality. What are those internal testings? Unit testings will be there. OK, integration testing will be there. Same. So we will post one invoice as we do. OK, in the FB60, FB70 or FB50 also. We will, uh, uh, I mean, we will uh, uh, post the all those invoices, whether the invoice is uh, whether the invoice is posted or not, okay. So we will do. Uh, I mean, we will do the testing, unit testing, and also integration testing, okay. So based on the testings only, okay. What are those test cases? What to test? How to test? Expected result, actual result, and the status. Then document status. All we do, right? So based on this only, we prepare user manual document, okay. That means configuration documents. You here, what is a user manual document? Basically, it is a guideline to end user. OK, and what is the configuration document? This configuration document con consists the entire document made for the particular client along with the screenshots The we can call it as a in the blue in the realization phase. I mean, in the SAP methodology only they will give all the details like what is that details and user detail. I mean, uh, guideline for the end users and also consists of the entire uh, configuration so for the particular uh, uh, client okay with the screenshots what are the documents that we prepare in the realization phase functional specification document okay functional specification document you know i will explain in the further sessions okay no worries so if i explain all these uh, in one thing you will not know and you will be in a confused mode Okay, user manual document, you know, conf configuration. The only left is functional specification document. So this needs to have uh, one more session. So after the realization phase, we will go to the final preparation. Okay, so that is very important here. 